Tourism Works. Brought to you by the Guam Visitors Bureau. Half a day, my name is Judy Flores. I'm from the village of Inalahan, and I spe specialize in the art of batik painting. So uh, J Flores Inc. is my company, and uh, we deal a lot with tourism. I'm standing in the uh, G. Flores building. It's a historic building, uh, first built as it, you see it now in, in 1914. And uh, in the ground floor, which we call the bodega, is uh, we've established a museum. So it's called the G. Flores History Center or Museum. And then we added the Hotno Bakery. So we started in uh, 2012 and we've been going strong ever since. I took my research uh, and uh, have put it on the walls in the, in the form of pictures and text that tell the story of Inalahan. And what we did to kind of preserve the old houses, because a lot of them are abandoned, is uh, board up the doors and windows and paint scenes that I remember as I was growing up here. So we have the painted histories is what we call it. It's an ongoing project and we involve a lot of uh, uh, school students, volunteer, service learning students, or any group that wants to contribute to the painted histories. We opened five years ago because of the request by tour companies that they wanted something that they could see. We do get tourists that come by and we do, when we are open on weekends, they, they read about the, and hear about the Hotno Bakery and they come here looking for the Hotno Bakery. The most gratifying part of my job is, is doing the art with the people, with the volunteers. Uh, I like my own space to do my own art and I do my, my large pieces at home in my own studio. But uh, the most gratifying part is working with students. Um, and that is something we did very currently with the Japanese dance group who dance Chamorro dances. They are a Japanese Chamorro dance group from Tokyo. And they they come every year and they join the Dinanyat Minagul uh, that is held at Gepago. And then they, they do something with us. Tourism really, well, for example, I wouldn't be able to start this museum without the help of tourism dollars. The, the grants that they give out to local grants, uh, to local artists, really help us con uh, connect with the tourists. We are working very hard uh, to, to create the message th uh, that we should support tourism and welcome our visitors, especially here in Inalahan. And uh, I, most of the residents are very accepting of tourism. We have to keep reminding them that, that there are so many opportunities here for local, art, uh, local artists, local produce uh, farmers, and, and uh, uh, makers of uh, Chamorro delicacies, Fiesta plates. We can do that all here in Inalahan, and we do that at the Street Fest. We are involved with the tourism industry because uh, they 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 come by, uh, especially on weekends uh, when the Hotno is open. Uh, that those are our regular opening days. Tourism comes and locals come, and we like to uh, have that uh, interconnection, that interaction between locals and tourists. Tourism Works, brought to you by the Guam Visitors Bureau.